Let's turn to Jim Shannon, the Democratic Unionist MP for Strangford. Jim Shannon, appreciate your time. Thanks very much indeed for joining us today. Uh, well, you've got your way. You've got your way, it seems. The DUP have got their way. This protocol is going to be re renegotiated. Well, I mean, uh, you forgive us for just being a, a wee bit uh, cynical. Um, I, I suppose what I always look at is the, is the actions. Uh, but today we did get a, a, a verbal commitment from the Secretary of State in relation to uh, government's commitment to uh, address the Northern Ireland Protocol. Last week she was saying she was going to ditch the protocol. This week she's saying about, uh, uh, about, about uh, different arrangements in relation to the protocol. But we will wait as we have to, to see what that means. Uh, you forgive us, um, um, Colin, over the last two years, we've become uh, quite cynical, quite um, yeah. uh, used to getting comments that tell us, you know, we're, we're going to make changes, but nothing ever happens. So we wish to see what will happen. We want to see the action. When we see the action, uh, then we will respond accordingly. But at this moment in time, the right words, let's see the action. And for a lot of people, Jim Shannon, especially those people not in Northern Ireland, very, very often conversations around the protocol can feel quite abstract. Uh, Doogie Beatty, our reporter, was just trying to put some flesh on the bones and give us some actual practical examples. We understand, for instance, we will see you know, a red and a green lane between GB and Northern Ireland for goods. I is that how you envisage things? Uh, well, I, I'm not sure whether we see a green lane or an orange lane, uh, Colin, uh, whatever the lane may be. We'll wait to see what it is. But what I want to see is this here. Last week in the Farm and Life in my back in Northern Ireland, we, we had uh, farmers complaining they couldn't send their cows and their cattle to the sales in, in Carlisle in England because of the of the protocol. That, the problem is that they don't sell them. They have to keep them in, in, in uh, Scotland and, and Northern England for another six weeks. We have uh, fishermen who can't land their fish in, in, in Northern Ireland because of the tariffs and they have to land them in Scotland. We have uh, one example. Just, just this morning, uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, colleagues had a constituent who, uh, got, who ordered a £60 part for his car uh, and paid for it uh, and then was informed that they would have to send it through the Republic of Ireland, and before it got to Northern Ireland, it would be seven hundred pound. I mean, you can see the problems. Yeah, you see the problems with the with the process. We see our problems with the with the with the protocol, with the bureaucracy, with the east west movement. Brandon Lewis yesterday morning said that he was aware of two hundred companies from the United Kingdom mainland who no longer trade in Northern Ireland. These yeah. are the, the EU just love bureaucracy. Yeah, they've only got started. So, so from my point of view, uh, I would wish to see the, the Northern Ireland Protocol ditched. I think that's exactly what Liz Truss said last week. I wish to see it this week. Indeed, I think that's what we need to sell for.